you think you playing in my league But you couldn't catch up if I took a break and vacation for weeks on top of week Cause I'm up right now, been up, I'll come down when I'm Hey guys, and as you guys can see from the title below Yes, this is going to be a rant video about my iPhone 8 Plus that I have And I have, let me take it out of the case for you guys I have the iPhone 8 Plus, the 64 gig I have the rose gold one and this is actually my third iPhone 8 plus since the phone launched September 22nd I believe and I'm going to insert some footage that I took kind of like a mini vlog I guess when I went to the store and I recorded it on my Note 8 because you guys know I have this phone for my personal use and then I also have my Note 8 for business but I had my Note 8 and I was like, you know what? You guys have been asking me to like film and show like footage of the iPhone 8 Plus versus the, um, all these phones, Lord. The, what's the name of the phone? I just had a brain fart. Oh, the Galaxy Note 8. So when you see the footage that I would insert of me um, going into the mall because there is an Apple store, which is a bigger Apple store in the mall. You guys will see that and you guys will see me basically in there waiting. I waited for almost two hours because even when I got to the Genius Bar, I'm sorry for my phone going off, you guys can hear it. Even when I got to the Genius Bar, because let me tell you guys real quick before I insert the footage. When you go into Apple, you have to talk to like four different people, which is insane to me. Like... I want to say I just can't go to the front and just talk to the Genius Bar, see if they can fix your phone or just give you uh, a new one. And the thing about it is I am with AT&T and I'm with T-Mobile, but this phone is through AT&T. And the thing about it is after 14 days, after you've had a phone, you can't go and like trade it in. You can only return it like within 14 days and get a new one. So that is why I just always go to Apple because they are the manufacturer. They're the ones who... You know what I'm saying? Make the phone. So, enough rambling because I could talk all freaking day. But I am going to insert the clip, like I said, of me in the mall going into Apple. Um, like I said, there is a process when you go to Apple, which is insane. You have to basically, <coughs> excuse me, walk into the store. You're going to speak to one person. Then he's going to direct you right over there to someone else. You're going to tell them what you need. And they're going to make you sit at the table. All the tables they have, they're going to make you sit at one particular table for about 40 minutes or an hour then you get transferred over to the genius bar which you have to wait a long time as well so apple should definitely step up their game because the waiting process even if you have an appointment is always so freaking long so i'm just going to insert the clip of me going to get my phone and things like that and i'll come back and do my little rants because this is this is ridiculous okay so i'm gonna insert the clip now so i'm at the mall y'all because and i'm filming with my note 8 because i did not know i was gonna have to come to the mall today um and i come to this mall sometimes um if you guys are in frisco this is a really good mall to come to to have everything but i'm filming with my note 8 so everyone who wanted to see how it looked filming this is the note 8 uh, I'm going to Apple because this is the third time I am going to have to get a replacement phone, like a new phone, because my iPhone 8 Plus has been giving me the blues. Yeah, so I'm coming here, wonder how long this wait is going to be, and I'll keep you guys updated. My, you know, it's one thing to bring out new products and things like that, but make sure you take pride in the stuff you're putting out, and the phones are not cheap, you know? So, we're going to go down to Apple, and we're going to see, yeah. This camera actually looks pretty good on this Note 8. I should probably use this to vlog, seriously. Because people may think I'm just on the phone. 
it's really early so it shouldn't be that packed and then I'm going in here on a galaxy Lord have mercy excuse me hi backing up my phone because they have to do a replacement so yeah been here waiting at Apple for about an hour and 15 minutes. I've made it from over there to the Genius Bar. And I'm just waiting because it's long so, as fuck. What we need to do is a phone. Getting it replaced for... So you guys, I just got my replacement phone for the third time. Um, I'm going to set it up. Here's the plastic. Brand new. As you guys can see. So I'm just gonna set it up, and yeah, this really, really sucks, but I have to set it up now. This is the third iPhone 8 Plus I've had. And guys, remember it was so slow earlier? It's super packed now. Like, so I'm about to set my phone up, and yeah. As you guys can see, this is my third iPhone. Um, I just feel like when Apple come out with products, you know, I know everyone wants to hop up and get the new iPhone, but let me tell you guys, lesson learned, I will never go out and buy an iPhone as soon as it launched because I have come to the conclusion that the first batch of phones are always the worst ones. And I'm not sure if it's just me that always have bad luck with iPhones because remember I had two or three um, red iPhones, the plus when I had it, and I had to take it back and get a whole nother color because... It was giving me so many freaking problems. I'm sorry about the lighting in here because I have my blinds down a little bit so it may look off. But I had this video out to you guys. So what happened was on the first phone that I had, I had it for probably about two weeks. Everything was working just fine. I mean, everything is super fast. Um, my FaceTime worked just fine. People could hear me. I could hear them. Um, my text messages was going real quickly. Every time they sent an update, the 11.1, the 11.2, 11.3, I always updated just to keep my phone updated with the newest software that Apple tell you guys to update when they send you out the newest software. And everything. I hadn't dropped my phone or put it in water. I haven't done any of that. And one day I was coming home and I was on the highway and I needed to use my GPS. And for some reason, my GPS in the phone, it wasn't working. And I was, and it kept saying network failure or something like that. I'm like, what? So I get on the phone and I call AT&T. I'm like, okay, AT&T, I have completely unlimited internet, so my internet never slows down, never stops. So why is it saying that? And then the woman was like, well, we can do some troubleshooting. And I was like, okay, you know what? You're going to have to call me on my, um, why is my hair doing this? You're going to have to call me on my other phone because, you know, anytime you have a problem with your phone and they have to go through different steps on your phone, they have to, like, talk to you on another phone. And then they have to, you know basically take you through the steps and stuff on this phone so just trying to see if everything is working properly on the device that you're calling and having problems with so she did all of that and still it was saying it wasn't working so then i tried to send a text message and it wouldn't work i tried to make a phone call and it didn't work i tried to facetime and it didn't work like all of a sudden it just did not work and i remember the lady asked me are you up to date on the newest software at that point um with me being in my car and remember I'm lost I don't know where I am so I pull over to talk to her so basically I can't drive and you know go through my phone settings and stuff with the lady as I'm driving and let me remind you um, I'm lost I don't know where I am and basically she was like she didn't know what they could do um, they had transferred me from talking to her to talking to someone else in a better department, like another tech 
department who's more advanced than she was and they couldn't help me either and they was like well you're past your 14 day grace period so you can go into apple and let them see what's wrong with it and then they can either give you a new one or they can you know basically try to fix this one and see what's wrong with it so i take not this one the other one so i take the phone into apple and they put it on this little machine thing or whatever. And that machine basically lets you know if something's working right, if something's working wrong and things like that. It did not have a response or anything. And by that time I got to Apple, y'all, by that time I got to Apple, and let me tell you something. Thank God I had my Note 8 to use my GPS because if I did not have my Note 8, I would have been lost. I literally would have had to get out the car and ask people for directions. And this is Texas. You cannot be getting out your car just asking random people for directions if you don't even know where you're at. And you definitely don't want people to know you lost. Because definitely, <laughs> they'll definitely take advantage of you out here in Texas, okay? But, um, back to what I was saying. So, it went dead by the time I got to the store. You guys will not believe this. By the time I got to the store, the phone was completely dead. They put it on a machine. It wouldn't even, it wouldn't even, the phone wouldn't even charge. So, he's like... They couldn't even see what was even wrong with the phone because it wouldn't even turn on. And he had me wait like 40 minutes, 14 minutes, you guys, and that phone did not power up or anything. So they basically had to replace it with a new phone. Now, the reason why I never go to like T-Mobile or AT&T to replace my phone if I'm having problems with my phone, simply because if you go through AT&T or T-Mobile through the insurance or whatever, they're going to send you out, no, not through the insurance, through insurance, you get a brand new phone. When you have a problem with your phone and they place it through their warranty, they're going to give you a refurbished phone. And I don't want to, if I just bought a brand new phone for the amount of money it costs and the phone is not cheap, I don't want you to send me out a refurbished phone. And a refurbished phone is basically a phone that someone else was having problems with like me. And they sent it in, they fixed the problem, and they sent it back out to you like, okay, it's running a test, it's good to go. Now, to the 10, those phones still be bullshit. So, they end up giving me a brand new phone, sh brand new, and anytime you go to Apple, if you get a new phone, if you get a phone out there, it's automatically going to be brand new. They don't do refurbished phones and things like that inside of Apple. Okay. So, I don't know the time frame, but it wasn't that long because like I said, the phone hasn't been out but like maybe a month and a week now, uh, or maybe a month. I'm not sure what today's date is. Let's see, today's date is the 26th, so like a, a month and a couple of days. So, I go back into... AT&T, and I give them my updated IMEI number, and everything was smooth sailing. It was good. And then after that, I was good. Phone was working. Everything was good. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe I just had a bad one, you know? Because every phone you get is not, it's, it's not guaranteed to work properly. But, I mean, when you purchase a phone, you're thinking, oh, hey, I'm purchasing this phone. It's guaranteed to work properly. But that's not always the case. So, the phone was working good. And then, y'all, I would keep my phone on my wireless charger. It would charge just like that. And I do have a video coming up, like a review, if you guys want to purchase the wireless charger. The one that I use, which I use for my Note 8 and for my Samsung. So it's universal. Um, so I will have a video coming up on that, a review. If you guys want to stick around and um, get the link. And it's super cheap. It's not $50, $60, 70 80 $100. So stick around for that video coming up. But the thing about it is, on my wireless charger, my phone would charge quickly oh, excuse me quickly it wouldn't stop charging anything like that with the second phone that i had when i plugged it up it would charge for a little while and it'll still be plugged up but it will stop charging so okay you know since i sleep on the side of the bed where the plug is i always have my charger plugged up there so i'm like you know what maybe it's the plug you know maybe the plug went out let me go plug it up probably like in my kitchen or something or in my office area so i go to the kitchen to plug it up and it said it was charging but it wasn't charging you know up here the numbers you can see it was still like at 47 48 percent um and i think it would even go to 50 percent it would always get stuck so I'm like, okay, it's nothing. I did like a manual reset, which is basically where you touch the power button up here. And then you touch, um, I forget, it's like the power and the volume down. And you can do like a, a power reset. I did that. 
I don't know what happened. Maybe it was glitched up because I had just did the 11.2 update. And it started charging perfectly fine. The next day, you guys, the FaceTime was insane, you guys. I should have probably inserted that. But I don't need y'all know who I'm talking to and stuff like that. You know, having a business and, you know, doing little stuff like that. You know, personal. I don't need y'all in my business like that. But I should have inserted it. I should have just FaceTimed Kali or something and let you guys saw how it looked on the phone. So you guys know when you're FaceTiming someone, you have the middle part up here. You have the black part up there. The middle part is where the person's face is. And then the bottom part is just, you know, black or whatever. While I'm on FaceTime... And it did this for probably three days. I literally kept the phone for three days before I even took the other one back. Um, I was on FaceTime, and when I was on FaceTime, I would see these really, really thin gray lines pop up under the bottom of the person's video, you know, when you FaceTime me. And I was like, what the hell is this? I even screenshotted while I was phone my homegirls, and I was like, what the hell is this? You know, what do you think this is? And they couldn't tell me what it was. And so that happened the first day on FaceTime. And so I did a, 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 a not a, like a, a, a hard drive, like whatever it's called, reset. I just did a, a complete reset on my phone, which basically makes my phone, like, like brand new and I have to go through all the settings and things like that. So I did that, turned it back on, it was working just fine. And then that that evening, the next day, I was on the phone talking to my dad. And my dad has AT&T, but I don't think that matters. And he doesn't have an 8 plus, he has like a 6S, I think. Um, but that didn't matter either because it wasn't happening on his end, it was happening on my end. So I'm on the phone with my dad the line that was thin at the bottom and thin at the top of the car, it got thicker. I was like, what the heck? I was at the point, you guys, at that point, well, not at that point, what? At that moment that I wanted to just go back to my iPhone 7 Plus. Because even though I had a few issues with my iPhone 7 Plus, the red one and the rose gold one, the last one that I had, I didn't have any problems out of that phone. So it kind of made me feel like, you know, I need to go back to my 7 Plus because these phones are really working my nerves, especially if I'm a paying customer. You know, like Apple not sending me out iPhones and you know, then I'm paying, I'm a buying customer. So if I'm a, a buying customer, I expect to get what I pay for. And like you guys know, the iPhones are not cheap. I mean, my Note 8 was more expensive than the 8 Plus, but I don't give a damn. Like, come on. So this is the third day, y'all. The third day on FaceTime at this point I didn't reset my phone when it got thick or anything. I just was like, you know what? Let me get off FaceTime. I just call you regular at this point. And I basically got on a FaceTime call the next day. And the whole screen was gray. Like gray. And the bottom, the little rectangular part of the video phone when you're on FaceTime was covered up too. So you could only see like a little bit, about this much, you guys, of the person who I was on the phone talking to. That is why I end up taking that phone back. And that is why I have this one for the third time. I don't know what's going to happen with this phone, you guys. I hope and pray to God that this phone does not give me any problems. Because if it do, I'm taking it back. And you know what's crazy, you guys, is that, of course, color don't matter. Color don't matter about a phone, whether you get the gold, the silver, the black, whatever. But what I did notice when I was in the store, is just what I noticed. Um... It was a woman sitting in front of me and two guys sitting right here at the table when I first walked in. And of course, they was there before me. So I'm listening to everything that they're coming in here to complain about what's wrong with their phones. This lady had the A+. Plus. She had the black one. Space gray, whatever color it is. But it was black in the front. And she was complaining about when she did her 11.2 update. Um, she bagged up her phone, and when she had to reset her phone or something like that, her pictures, her phone numbers, all that was, was gone, and she signed in with the same email and password and everything like that. And I don't know what was going on with that. I was like, wow, that's, that, I would be pissed if I lost 
all of my pictures like I have over 4,000 some pictures in my phone. Oh my God, if I lost, oh, and she was so pissed. That lady was so pissed. But she kind of, you know, kept it cute, you know what I'm saying? Because she was in public and stuff like that. Which is, you know, to each his own, but I would have been in there pissed, okay? The other two guys that were sitting beside me, they had the smaller eights. One had the silver and one had the black. And I was thinking to myself, like, wow, everyone in here is in here with different colored phones. And every one of us have different phones. I have the gold plus. She has the black plus, And they had the smaller ones in different colors as well. And it was crazy because when I looked around, everyone was in there because of the eights. And I was like, that is just not good. And it's like, you know, I didn't get the iPhone X because it's just, it's not my style. It's not my thing. Um, it only came, I think, in two colors. I'm not with the face recognition and all that stuff. And plus, you know, Android been doing it and I've always had an Android. So it's not nothing I just, oh my God, I had to get because they have face recognition. Like I didn't have to get that. And I just felt like it, it just wasn't for me. It was black around the edges. You guys know I'm a girly girly and I love pink or rose gold or gold and stuff like that. But you guys, if I have any problems out of this phone, I'm probably going to go back to my 7 Plus or I may get the silver one or something. I don't know. But I'm definitely not going to get the X because I don't, I don't like the X to each his own. But I just feel like, you know, Apple should definitely step their game up. If you're if you're making phones out here and you're trying to compete with your competitors like Android, you know, if, if you're constantly having to go to the store to replace your phone, that speaks, you know, on your company. Like, whatever you guys are doing, you guys should definitely... <sighs> Take time instead of just throwing the phones up, putting the parts in them, have you guys building them and just sipping them out here so you guys can make money off people. And I work very hard for my money and I don't have time to just be giving Apple money. But I do, <laughs> I, I will tell you guys this, I'm never going to go out and get a new iPhone when it first comes out. I've heard people say, you know, the first batch of phones that come out, you know, um, when they ship them out, which I was the first one to get them, you know, I can pre-order. Um, I actually had ordered two, one from T-Mobile and one from AT&T. Um, the the T-Mobile one came later. I just returned that one. But the AT&T one, it came the day of lunch. So I got it September 22nd. It was delivered to my house. But I just wanted to tell you guys my little rant, insert my little clips, show you guys like, yeah, they, this is my third phone, my third iPhone 8 Plus. And it's a 64 gig. And I kept thinking like, maybe I should have upgraded to the, um, you know, maybe I should upgrade it to the 256. And I'm thinking like, I'm not going to get no more of my damn money. And of course, when you upgrade, it costs more. And I'm just not going to do that. Especially if I'm already having a problem with this phone, I'm just not going to do that. So, you guys, let me know if you guys have any problems with your phone. I'm just curious to know. Um, all my friends have the A Plus now. Um, the only one who has not had problems on her phone is my friend Cynthia. And she has the smaller one. So, maybe a bitch should have got the little one, okay? Because, well, no. Because the other guys that was in the store, they were having problems with that small one. So, hopefully, Apple definitely get, get their together because it's very frustrating to need to use your phone and it messes up and you can't do anything you know so that's my little rant like i said leave in the comments below let me know what phone you guys have if you have any problems with your phone if you have the eight or the eight plus or even if you have the six or the seven i'm curious to know what phones you guys have so leave in the comments down below and like i said let me know if you guys have had any problems with your new phones the eight or the eight plus and that's pretty much it for this video i'm so sorry this video has been hella long but i definitely want to get on here and do my little rant because after what I went through with my A+, plus, I mean not my A+, plus, my red iPhone+, plus, ugh, Apple, y'all really working, y'all really working your girl nerves, okay? I'm about to be team Android and Android. Like, seriously, at this point, if this phone give me problems, I'm going to have two Androids, okay? Because my Android, my, my Note 8 hasn't given me any problems. So, if I had to be anything right now, I will be team Android, even though I have an A+, that's just how bad it has been 
for your girl since I've had my A plus. So that should tell you something. I will because if I pay for something, I want my stuff to work. So share this with Apple. I still fuck with y'all, Apple. I still love y'all, but y'all gotta get it together, honey. Get it together. And I hope when the 10 come out, it 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 <laughs> But you know what? Anytime Apple comes out with a new phone, like a different kind of phone, it always have problems. I hope it don't, but that's just, that's that's been the history of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant video. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave the comments down below. Like I said, we know what phone you guys have. If you guys have had any problems with your phone, it's so freaking hot in here, you guys. I'm sweating. You guys probably can't see it. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's so bad, but I want to do this video for you guys because, yeah, so now I have to go pretty much set it up. I haven't set it up or anything. Um, I just set up, signed into a couple of emails, and that's pretty much it. And, yeah, so, I mean... It's so pretty though. Like, damn, Apple, get it together. All my social media links are always down below. And until next time, you guys. Mwah.